designing their robots. For example, when looking at how to construct six-legged robots, they're inspired by insects. And insects, if you look across many different species, use the same locomotor strategy for moving fastest. They use the tripod gait. It's a movement in synchrony of the front and rear legs on one side of the animal with the middle leg on the other. When you don't have adhesion, which insects use to crawl up walls or on ceilings or other three-dimensional surfaces, you actually can move more quickly using what we call a bipod gait. So a bipod gait is a dynamically stable gait that allows the robot to use two legs on the ground at once instead of three to move more quickly through the environment. To test if this actually was the best strategy for six-legged motion, uh, we developed an insect model in simulation and actually essentially re-evolved locomotor strategies for this model. We took this hexapod robot and we tried the tripod gate and the bipod gate and what we saw is that the bipod gate was always faster and this confirmed our results from simulation. But insects don't use the bipod gate, so why might this be? Um, we saw in simulation that adhesion might be the reason why the tripod gate is there. So we asked ourselves, what happens if we block adhesion in the real insect? So we put little polymer boots, which block the adhesion, and saw that the tripod gate was disappearing. And uh, what we saw actually is more of a bipod-like pattern. So these results show how we can control robots to move more quickly and efficiently on the ground, and also inform biologists for why it is that insects move the way they do through the world.